brings back the memories. This is the first place I ever filmed the video, fishing the Dry River in Virginia. Hopefully we get on them. <laughs> Floating that cider on the pink beaded waltz. That was just a nice long cast up there, long drift. I don't have too heavy of a bead on and only a single fly, so I'm not going to be getting snagged up. I float that cider all the way down and I start picking it up once it gets in range. So long cast, a little bit of tuck on that one because I already put a cast in that spot, get a little bit deeper. There's one. A little bit bigger fish. So pretty. So I did hear that this stream does get stocked a little bit. And up there, it looks like a stocker hole if I've ever seen one. So I would not mind catching a pretty big rainbow. Little bro. On the waltz worm, I put on an egg. Pretty heavy one. Oh! <laughs> so I have a double 2.8 feed on right now. I put on an egg to see if I could get a rainbow and also have a little bit more weight so I could fish a little bit further away. A little bit better fish. Those guys sure are feisty. That's a pretty good fish. I don't know what he is. Pretty nice brick trap. Very light colored. Ate a midge. Ah, oh, stalker. How about that? Stalker. Pretty big. Little guy. Ate a stone fly. First cast at the egg. How about that? Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do with fish? There he is. Little native grip. Good fish on the creelet. Since it's not moving very fast and I don't have patience, whoa. Since I don't have the patience to make a nice drift through, I just put on a creelet, dig it through, and pretty good fish. See if there's any more big ones. Holy cow, that's a good fish. Oh, he came off. Oh, that was like a 12, 13 inch brook. 
Ah. Oh. On the Grelex, though. There's a... I saw him rise. And I was able to target him. He ate the nymph, but... Still, feeding fish will eat most anything. Little guy. Staying low and using a long Euro leader that's really light. I'm able to be really stealthy. And as long as you don't spook these fish, a lot of times they'll eat. I'm really hoping one will come up and eat the dry. I have a Mr. Rapidan size 14 parachute as the dry and a little thread Frenchie with a metallic pink bead. That's my dropper, so that's what this little guy ate. Just because fish aren't rising doesn't mean they won't come to the surface. Especially these mountain stream brook trout. They're very opportunistic. There's a little bit better fish. They're stacked up through here. I just want one to eat the dry. Just one. So like I said, I'm using a long light leader and I just have about a foot and a half of opaque white cider, which is very subtle. Just in case these fish are cider shy, which they definitely could be. And I have about Two feet of tippet going to the dry and I have a blood knot with a tag that and the dry is tied off the tag. There's a little bit better fish. I don't need much tippet going beneath the dry. I don't need to get the nymph very deep. Like I said, these brick trout are very opportunistic. They'll come up to eat. And I'm surprised none of them. Surprised none of them have come up to eat the dry, but eventually. And maybe eventually I'll catch one that's bigger than two inches. Maybe. No guarantees. Wow, what an orange, orange belly. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. I was dapping the dry, trying to trigger one to come up to the top, but he took the nymph as it was bouncing up and down. Man, they are lined up right here. Another pretty one. So the stream comes barreling down and makes a nice deep hole. Great spot. I know there's a bunch of fish in here. I just caught one. But what I do to catch more fish is I'm gonna grit it off. And I'm gonna start at the closest grid toward me. Like right in here. Oh, there's one. Beautiful little brook. And I'm gonna fish that same grid with another cast and then next cast goes to the next grid over and work my way in to out and downstream to upstream. Although this is a lot easier than a lot of other streams, it's great practice because you do get rewarded often and it's just so much fun. A little bit over. Fish, ah, missed him. That was a little bit too far, but I'll I'll keep on working my way out. There's a good one. I was gonna say I, I missed one, so I was gonna keep on working my way out and then come back to that fish after a second. Very long and skinny. One thing that I really like to do in the slower water is 
bounce my dry a little bit. You don't need to bounce it much. Just lift your rod tip and the weight of the nymph will kind of anchor it and you can pop it up and down. Dapping the dry is a great way to trigger fish into eating, trigger fish into coming up and it can be really fun if they're eating the dry whenever it's in midair. There we go. Just off that rock. Good fish. Uh oh, my line's in the tree. Ah! Oh no, he's still on, he's still on. <laughs> That's a little, a little bit hard to get in there and get a fish out of there. So I have zero battery in the GoPro, but I just tied on a little black micro streamer and I've been crushing it. There's another one, another good fish. Like every single cast. It's crazy. They are loving this thing. There's a good one. Alright, not too good, but still a good fish. It's like every other cast now, they're just hammering this little streamer. There's a good one. Man, they're loving this thing. I don't know if they're just starting to feed really well, or... I found a really hot fly. 